Hello, hockey fans and Phantoms fans, and welcome to another episode of Mr. and Mr. Phantoms. This week, we've flipped the show on its head a little bit, and it's Mrs. and Mrs. Phantom. Welds, would you like to um, introduce our two guests? Yeah, this week we've got um, the smoke machine technician, Carrie Buckman, and the, the brains behind James White, Emily Wood. Okay, girls, welcome to the show. Um, Emily, how are you feeling? A uh, bit scared from you two, to be honest, but... Don't blame you. Gary? Same, really. What did I ask? You'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out. So just to go over the rules again, um, we'll start off with Emily guessing Carrie's answers, and then we'll do, after that, Carrie guessing Emily's answers. Five points up for grabs for each round. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, first question, Emily. What is Carrie's best feature? Don't roll your eyes at me. This isn't a personality contest. We are talking physical future. <laughs> and just to remind you, this is a family show. <laughs> okay, answer's locked in. Okay, you need to reveal the board and then say your answer. I put eyes. Carrie? Eyes? Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't have gone for that person you carry, but uh. fair enough. I suppose Emily looks into oh, I, can uh, see it, I, can I suppose see. Emily looks into Carrie's eyes all day yeah. as they sit opposite each other on desk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, one point. Well done. Question number two: If Carrie ended up going into jail, what would it be for? Let's see what you really think of her. Oh Never thought of breaking the law, Carrie? Not really, not really. No. In your own time. Oh, we, never <laughs> said, we never said it was going to be easy on this show. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think that something's happening here. Uh, it can't that. be. It can't be. There's stood in between us. Fair enough. Let's just go with it. Okay. Okay. Emily, if you'd like to reveal your answer. I put speeding because I do actually get frightened for my life when I'm in the car with her. Good Carrie. reason. Speeding. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> two for two. But can, can you just clarify, Emily, what you original answer was my original answer was actually murder because <laughs> she can get quite angry like at work if i don't do something right so i think for <laughs> maybe it could be but then and and she's married to jason so that would be understandable definitely definitely okay we'll move on to question number three then um you're doing really well on two points um question number three favorite phantoms player other than your partner obviously for you we know Jason's the coach, but current player. current player, yes. So it can't be Whitey and it can't be Booker. That's, that's horrible. Why is that horrible? Because we're all a team and we should all be all together. I've got favourite players on the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're not saying them. <laughs> if I get asked a question when it's my go, carry, I'll answer it. All we ask is for 100% honesty. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> So remember, Emily is guessing what Carrie's answer would be. Emily is pretending to have to think about this one, um, even though if you allowed her to answer James White, I don't think she would pick him. What, Carrie or me? You. Who's it? I don't even know who's answering. She's answering. Yeah, Emily is guessing what you have put. Right. Is Carrie written one? Yeah, she certainly has. Okay, if you'd like to reveal your answer? Will. That's me. Jeez <laughs> <laughs> oh, Louise. Three to three. And obviously you feel quite pleased about that, William? We can end it here if you want not. Yeah. I don't know how Jason will feel about that. <laughs> okay, question number four. What is Carrie's favourite takeaway? So we're looking at 
pizza, fish and chips, you don't have to Chinese, you don't have to give all Indian, that. just those kind of takeaways. I know I didn't want them to be like, I guess, specific on brands because there are lots of brands available. Pacific. <laughs> specific. You got it? Got it. I put Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> I'm getting rattled. <laughs> They're four for four at the moment. We know what they've been doing at Dalrod all day. Busy day today at work, clearly. How did we know what you were going to ask? You've gone through the hundred possibilities, by the okay, way. Okay, we're on question number five. And as Scott Robson would say, it's a 50-50 chance to get the answer right. Um, Emily, would Carrie prefer a gym bod or a dad bod? No pressure. Feel the awkwardness in the room. Okay, Emily's got her answer locked in. I feel bad, but I said dad bod. Okay. Why? Why would you have picked dad bod? Just. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, do you want to ex explain your answer? Just because someone's a dad doesn't mean that they're fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she put that bod. You're five for five. Well done. So, five points out of five for Carrie and Emily. Uh, William really isn't happy about this at the moment. Um, so, guess silly question. How do you feel that went? Really good, thanks. Yeah, I think we did well. We know each other quite well. We spend a lot of time with each other. Is that the secret to this quiz? It's a lot of, lot of talking. Absolute rubbish. We know how to talk. Yeah, absolute, so you do. absolute rubbish. <laughs> right. Carrie is now going to guess Emily's answers. Let's see if this train can stop rolling. So, Carrie, what is Emily's best feature? Okay. Okay. Yep. Right. And Carrie, reveal your answer, please. Ears. My ears? <laughs> I've got them covered for a reason. I put my feet because I get cheap shoes. <laughs> Cheaper shoes. I get trainers. What size are your feet? A three or a four. So I get kids' trainers, so it's good. It's good on the bank account. Yeah. Can yeah. you explain the ears? Please carry. Because I'm sure at some point she has actually said that she's got quite dainty little ears. Don't look that little to me. Oh. <laughs> we stopped the train. <laughs> Stuck on five points now. They're not happy. They're not happy. <laughs> okay, so if Emily was to go to jail, Carrie, what would it be for? Trying to give off this good girl image, isn't she? <laughs> People will be watching this, Emily, so... I mean, you'd like to think she knows that because she is the one that puts the episodes out and cuts them. Sometimes forgets to put them on certain channels and whatnot, but, you know, we're not bothered about that. <laughs> she certainly has. She's been waiting. Probably what she does at work all day. Waiting for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Carrie, real answer? Murder. A little bit of payback there? I'm not that angry. I'm not an you angry are. person. So reveal your answer then, please, Emily. I just put robbery. robbery. Just. If you were going to rob something, what's the most likely thing it would be? A bank. <laughs> rob a bank. Remember that? Start at the bottom, work your way up. Smart. Okay. Again, no points for that one, so still stuck on five. Carrie, what is Emily's favourite phantom? Oh. What is what? Who? Who? Yeah, what? Wait, no, it requires. Doesn't matter. Because it's the same person. No talking off camera. Okay, so still stuck on five points, so we'll move on to the next question. Carrie. Who is Emily's favourite Phantom player other than Whitey? 
And as I've already said, I don't think it would be right. Okay, answers are both locked in. Yeah. Carrie, would like to reveal your answer? Nathan Pollard. Pollard. Why Nathan Pollard? And why the big smile? Because she got it right. I've, no, I've known Nathan since I was really young and to get along really well with him and his wife, so definitely. We didn't him. ask who your favourite player was off the ice. We asked All right, him. on the ice, he's scoring goals this season, he's doing well. Okay. Fair enough, valid point, valid point. Okay, they've moved on to Too six points. Too much attitude in this yeah. uh, game show today, for my liking. So, we're moving on to the next question. So, Carrie, what is Emily's favourite takeaway meal? What do you mean? <coughs> okay, answers locked in. Yep. Carrie? Pizza. No, I went with Indian. What's your favourite dish? Chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka. No, I'm a chicken korma. I'm a bit weak on butter, <laughs> butter chicken. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I not. Think we I'm, might have uh, I'm already not discussed it. Not on on here, but obviously we know what Peter would have <laughs> chose for his favourite Indian. Yeah, there's a good story about um, Peter. We've not got time because we'll yeah, ramble. Find him in the bar after a game after, sometime. After, after ask him story. what his favourite Indian is. Yeah, he goes. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> um, right, we'll move on to the next question. You're currently on six points. Does Emily prefer a gym bod or a dad bod? Bear in mind, we've all seen Whitey with his top off. Carrie? Gym bod. No, I went for dad bod. <coughs> Not because of James, <laughs> just because... So you don't like what the James's body type no, is? No, I or? just wouldn't like someone that was absolutely jacked. Like, I just, I just wouldn't you're, like you're it. You're with the right person, though. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Carrie seems to think that James is a bit, um, yeah, stacked. <laughs> no, okay. You're always hanging outside the changing room, Carrie, so... <laughs> Doubt that's the truth. Okay, so you've finished on um, six points. Um, how do you feel about that? I think we did quite well. I mean... I did guess all of Carrie's right, so I think I've kind of carried the team a bit because she clearly doesn't listen to me that much, but, you know. Hey, hi. Carrie, any reply? Busy lady. OK, Emily and Carrie have done really well there, scoring six points. Um, I believe that should put them pretty high up on the leaderboard. As you can also see, along with our nice new hoodies, um, Hockey Dog have given me and Welge some new hats. Um, you can buy them from the score, store for... So please nip in and purchase one. Um, please also follow us on all our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. At Go Phantom. Thank you, Williams, for anything, phantoms, merchandise, updates, scores, and all things Go Phantoms. Obviously, there's only one thing left to do now. It's to wave off.